Hey everyone, it's Trish with Bird Feed. Welcome back for some more Operation Christmas Child inspiration and another shoebox unboxing. This one I've packed for a five to nine year old girl and the theme is Over the Rainbow. You might notice that my setup is, is a little different here. I'm down in the basement. My grandson is here this week. My daughter-in-law is a teacher and started back to work this week. And the youngest grandson is in daycare. But my eight-year-old grandson uh, doesn't go back to school until next week. So I'm watching him this week. So he's upstairs on the laptop watching YouTube, <laughs> of all things. I decorated the inside lid of this shoebox with a Bible verse from Genesis. It says, I have set my rainbow in the clouds, and it will be the sign of the covenant between me and the earth. That's Genesis 9.13. And some of you uh, Dollar Tree shoppers might recognize this as the front of a pencil back, which I uh, had intended to put in this shoebox. But when I filled it, I noticed the zipper portion kept popping open when the uh, pencil pack was filled. So I decided um, I, I couldn't send it. But I repurposed it <laughs> and cut out the front of it and decorated the lid with it. So that's what she'll see when she first opens her shoebox and then this is what she'll see on top of her shoebox. She's got a rainbow popper. Now I got this on Shein.com. You can get these anywhere, but um, they sell them for around $3, three or four. And of course I got discounts on it. I forget what I paid for it, but it wasn't too much, like two, two something, 250 or something like that. Her t-shirt is just a plain white t-shirt that I got from the Dollar Tree. It's all style brand and it's a youth size extra small. Although it looked pretty darn big for an extra small to me. Um, that's the, the one thing about the t-shirts that uh, wind up in Dollar Tree. You have to check them, number one, for flaws. I don't find though that often but sometimes the sizing can be a little bit wonky and maybe that's why the manufacturer sold it to them for cheap so uh, this says it's an extra small but it's really the size of a youth medium then I ironed on a rainbow iron-on from the Dollar Tree an iron-on patch it says keep looking up there may be a rainbow waiting for you. And so I, I thought that uh, the shirt turned out really cute. She's got something soft to cuddle. This cute little unicorn. His, his horn is a little bit wonky because he's been smashed in the box with a fluffy rainbow tail. And I got this little guy for only 29 cents, 90% off at... Walmart, I, I'm going to guess after Valentine's Day because he's got hearts on his bow. So I thought that would be perfect for this shoe box with that cute rainbow tail. Now this table is a whole lot lower and smaller than the one I've got upstairs. So I'm hoping I'm not cutting off the heads of things and get it home I'm hoping I'm getting them in the frame is what I'm trying to say and I gave her this coloring book because look at the name rainbow high and I am unfamiliar with rainbow high and these characters other than they're all these big-eyed girls dressed in cute clothing <laughs> That's all. That's all I know. There's some cute pictures in here and some activities. So she's got that for a coloring book. I'm going to go ahead and move this off the table. 
She's got a pack of crayons to color in her coloring book. She's got some cozy rainbow socks. These came from Target on clearance one Christmas for 10 cents, I think. She's got a little hair mazing doll. And this is one that I got at Walmart on clearance for a dollar. I only had the one left to give her. I wish I had two, but I don't. She's got a ball. This is a cool ball in these rainbow colors. It's one of those rubbery, spiky balls. And I got this, and it lights up. I got this on clearance at Walmart. I forget when, and I forget how much. It's getting to the point where I can't keep up with it. <laughs> I didn't have shorts to give this little girl, but I gave her a rainbow hat. And this bucket hat I got at the Dollar Tree. And I think it works perfectly with her shirt because the shirt is not crazy with a whole lot of print. And she's got a really cool pair of sunglasses from Joan Cowan in this rainbow pattern. Aren't those cool? Joan picked those up from my wish list a while back. And then I made her a sunglass case from some rainbow fabric that I may have gotten from the Dollar Tree at one point in time, I think. And um, I found a little tutorial on YouTube. And so she, I made her that sunglass case. She's got a little organza bag that I've filled with jewelry. And uh, the bag are those, my favorite four by six bags from Annabeth. And in this one, I put some jewelry that I picked up on Shein.com. This is a best friends necklace set. We have a rainbow on a gold chain in one color and a rainbow in a different color. She can either keep them for herself or give one to a friend. And I think these were $2 for the set. And of course, I paid less for it. And also from Shein, she's got these cute little pearl beaded bracelets. There's three of them, and one of them has a little rainbow pendant on it. This was a dollar, and of course I paid less than that for it. Then she's got a little rainbow ring, and the ring is from Stacy Berry. She sent a box full of cute little assorted rings for kids to go into the shoe boxes that we're packing. She's also got some earrings, a couple of stud rainbow earrings and uh, blue rhinestone stud earrings that I have mounted on a little foam sticker. She also has a little wooden cross, a purple painted wooden cross. I get the crosses from Hobby Lobby and then I add the satin cording, enough to um, just slip over her head if she wanted to wear it, or she can hang it in her room. And along with the cross, I've given her a prayer card. This one says, Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Matthew 5, 8. She has something that I was very excited to give her. I've never done this before. Some wall decor that I found from the Dollar Tree. It says, Chasing Rainbows. And it's sparkly, and it has a little hook on the back. And I think that will be fun for her to put that up in her room. Also from the Dollar Tree, this zippered cosmetic bag. Now, um, inside I put socks. I originally had her jewelry and hair accessories and that sort of thing, but I couldn't 
couldn't seem to pack the box when uh, the lumpy things were in there. And I thought this was really, really pretty. It's a nice one, actually, from the Dollar Tree. You are a rainbow of possibilities. I love that saying. And inside that little pouch, she's got oh, like a rainbow stripe sock and another pair of socks, a little crew sock that comes up higher, kind of a cream color, and then it has a rainbow across the ankle. She's got a jump rope because this is the perfect age range for jump ropes. She's got a collapsible flying disc from Charlotte Arnott. I gave her the yellow one because it looks like the sun, which comes out after the rain, which creates the rainbow. And I gave her my last little rainbow coin purse. I got a bunch of these several years ago, a couple years ago, at Walmart for 30 cents. And again, there's nothing in this one. Um, it just packed better when it didn't have anything in it, so she can put whatever she wants to put in there. She's got a couple of pairs of underwear that I slipped into another 4x6 organza bag. I think one's a size 8 and the other is a size 10. In another organza bag, I put her hair accessories. And in here, she's got a green bow attached to a green elastic headband with the grippers. The, the headbands are from Joan Cowan, and those, those from, are from Amazon, and as are the, the bows. I have a lot of these grow grain bows in multiple colors that I bought from Amazon in a bag, big bag. And then she has, and I left it on this little rainbow card, a, a set of rainbow uh, hair accessories. She's got some glittery clips and then some other glittery ones that have rainbows attached to them and a rainbow of hair elastics with rhinestones on them. And this actually came in a set with this hairbrush, Always Dreaming. And that was from Dollar General for really, really cheap on clearance. And so I picked that up quite a while ago. Also in her bag is a rainbow of colored butterfly clips. Those are from Annabeth Corley and some hair barrettes. I think the rainbow is also from a, a collection of hair barrettes that Annabeth sent. And then the yellow ones are from some that Angie sent. Also in that bag, I tucked a mending kit with a rainbow of thread colors on it. Those are, are from Joan Cowan. I gave her a nail clipper and an assortment of cute band-aids. These came out of a box of Build-A-Bear band-aids from the Target dollar spot. And I gave her these because I could see through, one of them says Rainbow Squad on it. I don't know what the others say <laughs> because I can't open them, but she's got some cute band-aids. She's got a little stationary packet. This comes with some rainbow note paper, some envelopes, and some note cards. The best color is rainbow, is what this says. And this came from the Dollar Tree. I think there's only a couple of, like five sheets of paper and a couple of note cards and then envelopes for both. But I thought it was cute for this shoebox. She's got this pretty silvery covered journal with rainbows on it. Inside, I tucked a bunch of rainbow stickers that came out of a booklet, and I cut the stickers in half in order to fit in her journal. They're 
rainbows and balloons and stars, hearts. And in the spiral, I slipped a novelty pen that she can write in her journal with. And the pen was donated by a lovely viewer who donated to me a whole box full of goodies for Operation Christmas Child shoe boxes. She's got an assortment of school supplies in a mesh pencil pouch, which was from Tamara Shields. And in the pouch, she's got a rainbow of heart stacked crayons. And I'm not going to show you everything in here, but just her novelty pencils, which are all rainbows. There's a rainbow stripe and a ombre rainbow. Oh, actually, this one's multicolored, but she has another ombre, regular pencil that's an ombre stripe in here, like that. I don't know if you call that a stripe, but it's ombre colored, and then some others with rainbows on them. And she's got an assortment of pens, a couple of pencil sharpeners, and cap erasers, and some number two pencils, but she's got that for school, and a big rainbow eraser. These are from Walmart. Actually, this one's left over from last year. And a pair of scissors, also from Tamara Shields. So I think that's all her school supplies. Oh, she's also got some cute novelty erasers. And some of these are from Denise L. Like this little cute little bear with a bow around his neck. And this little pig. Those are from Denise. And then she's got an apple for school <laughs> and a bunch of bananas, but just for fun. She's got a red whistle for a little noisemaker. And I gave her a rainbow fan. I, I put a rubber band around the edge to keep it together. But she's got a pr pretty rainbow fan. She's got a pretty ribbon dancer that I got from Walgreens after summer clearance last year. But as you can see, it's quite long and it's really pretty, the ombre rainbows. She has a toothbrush and a cap that I've slipped into the cello bags that Joan sent. She's got a yellow composition notebook for school. She's got an assortment of some other stickers. These are those really cute skateboard stickers that I get on Shein.com. I gave her an assortment of some of the packs that I had gotten. A cute bunny, an elephant with a balloon, a little girl, a kitty in a cup, a couple of, actually four, butterflies, and four um, strawberry stickers. And the last thing in her box is a nice sturdy canvas tote with this pretty sun and rainbow graphic on it. And I attached a rainbow clip from the Dollar Tree. And the bag was from Walmart on clearance for a dollar last year. So that is my over the rainbow shoebox gift for a five to nine year old girl. I hope you enjoyed this one and got inspired for your shoeboxes. Thanks for joining me today. If you're not already subscribed, consider subscribing so you can see more shoeboxes like this. I'll be doing two to three shoebox unboxings between now and collection week, uh, which is the third week in November. Bye now.